imagine this. You and your department spend some focused time creating 100 or more questions relevant to a year's worth of work for a particular class. The questions could be used as pretests, mid-unit revisions, exam revisions, and general interest, and so on. The questions would mostly be multiple choice questions, matching questions, numerical questions, and questions requiring one-word answers. Imagine collaborating within a department so that each member creates one or two categories of questions, say 30 to 50 each, to give 100 to 200 questions that anyone from that department could access to populate new quizzes at any time during the year. Imagine then, if you could, within just a couple of minutes prior to a lesson, or even within a lesson, create a quiz for your class. The students would then complete the quiz within their course Moodle. Imagine if you could tell the Moodle to jumble the questions so that each student answered the quiz in a different order. Now imagine if the quizzes answered by your students were automatically marked by Moodle. That's right folks, no marking. And that you were given instant access to the results. Imagine if the quiz tied into an ongoing Teams competition that you had running which enhanced the motivation of the class. You could, of course, also use quizzes fairly extensively for homework purposes. And imagine if there were a set of tutorials you could follow that streamline this whole process for you. Well, you guessed it. This tutorial series will enable you to have all of the above. So what do you think about all that? Impressive? Lots of potential? But all this won't happen in five minutes. There's quite a bit to do and it will take some time to set up. Note that we're not recommending that the Moodle quiz replace any of your assessment tasks, but that it be used as a powerful learning support and a motivational tool. Now, if you're not sure whether the Moodle quiz is going to work for you, or whether it will be worth your investment of time, I strongly suggest you watch this first tutorial and read the associated PDF. Then have a think about how you would set this up if you were to use quizzes extensively, but initially just write enough questions for a couple of quizzes, just so you can try it out with your students. This intro video will give you an overview of the entire process of creating quizzes without showing you specifically how to create the questions. That of course will come later. Now I can't stress enough that it is important to put some thought into how you want to utilize quizzes. This is very much about short-term pain to get long-term gain. But if you look at what the long-term benefit can be, and that questions can be used and reused year after year, and that they are marked automatically, I think the short-term pain can be really well worth it. So we're going to show you how to create a quiz system. Therefore, what we will do is show you how to set up a question bank first. Then when you want to create a quiz to be used in a lesson, you'll be able to do so in under two minutes because you don't need to create the questions. They've already been created and they're in the, in the bank. So let's show you what I mean by that. In this section, the quiz questions are going to stray from our theme of 70s rock music, but I'm sure you won't be too disheartened by that. So let's have a look at what a question bank looks like. To do that, we're going to go into settings. Now your settings may be up here in the administration block, but I've put my administration block on the left. So if we go to settings and quit question bank, you can see I've created a few questions here. So here's my question bank. Now you could have hundreds of questions in here. The idea is that you name each question in a way that it indicates what the question is. You can of course have these created in categories. So if you had hundreds of questions but 20 categories then that's much more workable and you can you can search more easily for a particular type of question. So that's what a question bank looks like. You can see I've just created some questions there. Now let's say though that we want to create a quiz. So we've got our question bank and we want to create a quiz. So I'm going to go to my course Now let's say that we're in down here in topic three and I just want to create a quick quiz here. Um, so I'm just going to add an activity. Just call it Wednesday's quick quiz. Have fun, because 
kids know what to do, they've already done these before, so I'm just creating a quick quiz on the fly. I'm just going to leave everything in the default settings, save and return to course. So here is our quick quiz. So I, as a teacher, click on the link and edit quiz. It takes me straight to the question bank. And let's say, oh yeah, we want that one. We want this question, rock musicians, and I want uh, that one there, and I want that one there. Don't worry about what the questions are called. I'm just, just an example here. And then I simply click add to the quiz. And now I've populated my quiz with four questions. Go back to my course. And there it is. So if I click on here, uh, preview the quiz, there's my first question, and so on. All right. So that's just showing you how to create a, uh, a quiz and then link some questions to it. Of course, you don't know how to create the questions or do anything else yet, but I just wanted to show you the overall process there. So just to be clear, there are three aspects to the quiz process. There are the individual questions, and we'll show you how to create different types of questions in the next tutorial. And then there's the question bank itself, and then there's the quiz, which can be populated by as many or as few of the questions from the question bank as you like. So there are the questions, there's the question bank, and then there's the quiz.